consider the integers from one to 100, but we only have 98 of these integers, okay? The question is, can you find out a way in which you can identify what are the missing integers without checking every single integer? Because obviously if I order all my integers at a certain point, I will find a gap and that is a missing integer. But you don't want to do that. You want to find a way to find out what are the missing integers using results that you know from mathematics. Okay, this is exactly the type of problem that you can try to solve with series summation. You immediately have two quantities that you can use in a system of two equations in order to find the two numbers you are looking for. How can you do that? Now, if we call A and B the two missing integers, now what do we know? I know that I have A and B, and then the 98 integers for which I can, for example, consider the sum and whatever. Now, these integers are from one to 100, so they need to satisfy the summation results we have just considered. So if I consider, for example, the sum of the integers from one to 100, I know that the total sum is equal to 100 times 101 divided by two, which is the Gauss formula for the sum of integers. So if I take 100 times 101 minus two, and I subtract the sum of all the other integers that I know, x1, x98, then I already have one equation. But this is one equation with two unknown quantities, a and b. So it is not sufficient to uniquely identify a and b. But I can add a second equation, and I can use the second summation result that we saw. So I can consider a squared plus b squared, and in this case, the sum of the squares of A and B needs to be equal to the sum of all the squares from one to 100, that is equal to 100 times 101 times two times capital N plus one, so 201 divided by six minus the sum of all the squares. Now, this problem can be solved uh, in different ways. Uh, we can think also of solving that numerically. And in this way, we have a very simple algorithm to find out what type of, what are the two integers, what are A and B. Now, so this is an exercise in which you are not actually asked to come out with a number because you don't have enough information to say that the two integers are three or 47. So you don't have the information to say that, but you have to propose a solution, a general solution for this type of problem. And the general solution, one of the solutions that you can give is just to consider this fact. So that is to say that if I consider the sum of all the integers between one and capital N, I have the formula. If I consider the sum of the squares, I have the formula. Another variation of this problem is the one that just relies on the first formula by Gauss. In that case, what can you do? In that case, you just need one equation. So imagine that I'm telling you that instead of having two missing integers, I only have one missing integer. If I have just one missing integer, what can I do? I can just apply the formula of Gauss. So the missing integers can, missing integer, sorry, can be found by taking 100 times 101 divided by two minus the sum of the other 99 integers. If conversely, I ask you to tell me what is an algorithm to find three missing integers, in that case, you have to add an extra equation. And the extra equation can be, for example, the result that we have just considered. That is to say, the, the sum of the cubes. Not just considered because this is an exercise for you, but you see that once you have these results, you can try to figure out the solutions.